Okay, anyways, so the only reason that I am skeptical about it is because um, I feel like this is going to hit a nerve, if that makes sense. It's going to hit a nerve with um, people in my family. And that's why I'm not really... I'm not like, ooh, yay, let's do it, let's do it. Can't wait to, you know, cause issues in, in my household because of this video. But I'm going to do it anyways because it's, you know, I, I, I'm somebody that nothing really stops me from doing what I want to do. <laughs> and I mean nothing at all N in the slightest is going to stop me from doing something that I want to do if I want to do something you better believe it's gonna get done and it's not even like that I just don't allow the little things to sway me from doing something that I feel needs to happen and a lot of the time um, like people are gonna tell me or people have told me you know that's not necessary or you should have did this differently or you know you didn't have to say it like that or put that out there to the universe. Well, whatever the case may be, I feel like if you're feeling some type of way, like guilty in any way, shape, or form about something that's taken place and that I speak about, then maybe you shouldn't have done it. So... It's kind of hard for me to say, oh, I sympathize with you, or yeah, you're right. When in all actuality, I'm thinking, you're telling me this because? Because I don't care if you're upset because I'm letting how I feel about a certain situation fly, then you're just gonna have to you know get over it that's the way that I look at that you're just gonna have to get over it because I'm not going to take my outlook on things and shift them around in any any way shape or form because someone feels some kind of way I'm just not gonna do that I've never been that kind of person because I, I'm, I'm the kind of person that speaks from my own experience. And that's really what you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be speaking from your perspective because what other perspective would you be speaking from? You know? And I wrote two autobiography books. Which I'll probably come on here and read for you guys. Um, chapter by chapter, maybe. And when I tell you, people in my life were so angry. You didn't need to put that out there. That's family business, yada, yada, yada. It's my life, too. It's my perspective, too. So you can't say that quote, I don't have a right to put it out there when I do, and I will, and I don't care if it bothers you, because at the end of the day, I don't tell you what I'm not okay with, and I don't, I would never, you know, like, if, if it's something that you feel that you need to do to, um, get closure or move on or you know whatever the case may be I'm not gonna sit there and tell you oh, you can't do that or if you do that don't put my name in it 
you can say whatever you want to say. Like, that's my whole goal to be on here to let people know that if somebody is not okay with something that you're doing that's helping you better yourself in some kind of way, oh shoot, then they're not very supportive people and you probably shouldn't have them in your life. And like really, honestly and truly, look, I'm looking for something that's right in front of me. Um, honestly and truly, that's as simple as it's gonna get. And I feel like in my life, I have kind of eliminated, oops, damn. I have kind of eliminated lots of people that feel like their feelings are the only thing that matters, if that makes sense. I have let people know from the beginning, I don't care how you feel. I really, really do not. And if you're offended or if you get upset by that, I don't care. Because it's not my job to care about what it is that bothers you or what would make you feel better. I've said it from the beginning of time, I was not put on this earth to make anyone's kid feel special. And I don't care if that means a sibling and I don't care if that's a cousin. And I don't care if that's a family member. I really don't care. I really, really do not. And oftentimes I feel like people really try my nerves. Like they, they're really testing me to see how far they can get me to bend to their will. Oh, if I tell him this and you know he has to respond to this he has to you know take this seriously because this is how i feel that might be how you feel but you're kind of discrediting everything that i put it out there for in the first place if that if that if you're understanding what i'm saying like if i put it out there to get closure to a, a certain situation or um you know, to like make a point in some regard and you're telling me that I can't because it makes you feel uncomfortable or you didn't like the way that I did it. You're allowed not to like the way that something was done or said or went down or the way that somebody um, did something. You're absolutely, you have every right to not like something. But here's here's what I have a problem with. When you shame them, for it. If they're trying to put something out there to get closure for something that, that has gone on in their life, who are you to stand in their way and tell them that they can't do it just because you don't want certain things to, to air? And then on top of that, it's kind of like you're trying to tell that person that they don't have the right to have a perspective on something. Okay? And that's why my book got people such, like, in a bad mood like people got in such a terrible terrible funk over my book why'd you put that out there and that's not how that happened I'm like that is how it happened and they're like no it's not no it's not and I'm like what people fail to realize is perspective is a beautiful thing so it may not have been what you thought happened or the way you would describe it, but to me, that's exactly what happened. And I keep trying to, to tell people that. Perspective, perspective. The way that you look at it isn't going to be the way that I look at it, and that's okay. So, anyways, I, I feel like, I, I'm so glad that I, I'm starting to use YouTube as like an outlet to get my thoughts out and what have you because I'm telling you right now, right here and right now, guys, mark my word, huh. this video that I'm getting ready to put out is going to piss people off. It's going to piss people off like never before and I'm somebody that
can't take the heat. I'm someone who's always been able to take the heat. But I'm telling you, it is going to be wild. Absolutely insane. It's going to be insane. And I honestly cannot wait for this video to air, y'all. I cannot wait. Because I'm finally getting my side of things out and questions that you guys all had answered. And I've been sitting on them for two and a half years. Literally. And they're so personal to me. I had to go to the video and like filter out some of them and delete some of them. I write them all down in a piece of paper, but I delete a lot of them because they are just so personal to me. And I don't want anybody to be attacked in, in, um, in the comment section for asking me such a personal question. So usually I just delete it or I filter it out so people can't see it. But, um, yeah, people have, they've asked me such personal questions about adoption. And I'm not going to say that you can't ask me these things because that's all like what my channel is about. And a lot of this will be about me discussing things that nobody wants to talk about or that is taboo or too painful to discuss. Honestly, I feel like the most painful things are the things that nobody wants to talk about. The, the, the healthiest things or the things that help us grow as people are the things that nobody wants to talk about. So, I don't know if I'm gonna wear these. No, because the ring might kind of relax in them. Okay, but, um, yeah, so they are the things that nobody wants to talk about. And they usually are the things that set people free. Like, I have been holding on to a lot of this that I, um, have been dying to put out there. But the reason I didn't is because I'm trying not to damage relationships and, and what have you by putting it out there to the world like this is what I felt about this certain situation or this is what I did and you know especially to my adopted parents I would never want to hurt them or damage them in any way with some of the answers to these questions and I was debating for a long time whether or not I should do a part two to this video but everybody is like it's your most watched video so you have no choice but to do a part two. And I'm like, well, I do have a choice. It's just not a major one. And it's like, whether I want to or not, I, I just, I have to, I just, I have to, I have to. There's like no, there was no other way to like really go around it. And I just, I really do, I have to. So I will be doing that today. So I hope that you guys see this one first, this video first before you guys see that one. And if you guys don't see this video first and you see that one first I'm gonna have them linked in the bio under each video so you know that I did these videos back to back because um, I really needed to like get this out there and I needed um, people to see both sides of the see both sides of this so I think I'm gonna put a bandana on too I think I'm gonna put a bandana on. I think that would be cute. But I don't know if I have a light blue one, so let me see. Hmm. Or 
I could put a Scully on. Nah. Should I? Nah. Nah. I'll be alright. I'll be alright without it. Alright. Alright, guys. So... That's it. That's the get ready with me. I don't really. I don't know. Alrighty. Alright, guys. That's it. So, stay perfectly imperfect until I see you guys next time. Bye. Oh. Go watch that video.